Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. That is Amelia. Popeye is at my feet with his favorite toy. We're the RC Sailors and welcome to our RC family. Today is going to be another top five drones, but this time it's under a hundred dollars. Just recently on our channel, we did a top five drones under $25. You guys loved it. And of course, why not? Save some time. We've done hundreds of drones this year and other RC products. So, uh, you could sift through all those if you really wanted to, and we'd love it if you did. But this time of the year, who has the time? So let's make a top five drones under $100. Mm -hmm. This was a lot of fun because we had so many options. We, we talked about doing maybe one under, under $50, uh, but that we kind of struggled to find some really good things. Mm -hmm but you move it up to a hundred bucks and it makes a really big difference. And a lot of these drones are on sale, so they are usually around a hundred dollars, but they they're are getting on close sale to and 50. they're getting closer to 50. Yeah. So that's what our, and let's tell them about the criteria we use to get oh, yeah. so these out. In order for this to make it on our list, Amelia, she's gonna help us, we <laughs> have to have had it on our channel in our hands in the year 2018. So there's no, this is not one of those stupid fake lists. I can't stand it. At the beginning of the year, you're gonna see, you're gonna see videos of people that are gonna say, best drones of 2019, and it's January. That makes no sense. That you've only had one month. That's a false prediction. They have no idea what stuff's gonna come out. We have had these on our channel, in our hands. We tell you when stuff is junk, uh, bluntly tell you not to buy it. <laughs> and so we know when stuff is good or not. It's based on our experience, kind of our fun factor, not necessarily, uh, tech value or anything. It's kind of fun factor. So with those bits of criteria established, let's start right in with a strong number five. This has probably been on most of our top five, top 10 lists for years now because it deserves- Two years. <laughs> it absolutely deserves this spot. This is at number five, the Bugs 3. MJX Bugs 3. This used to be about a hundred, hundred or so dollar drone. Uh, it's got big arms. It's a big frame. Now this year we've seen uh, upgraded hey. versions of the Bugs 3. We've seen the Bugs 3H that has altitude hold. We've seen the Bugs 3 Pro that has a GPS. We've seen the Bugs 8, all kinds of different Bugs drones, but the bare bone basic Bugs 3 is absolutely amazing. It has the ability to carry a GoPro action style camera, has brushless motors. It flies on. <laughs> Got that. I'm sure it did. <laughs> it flies on two cell power with an XT30 connector. It's a hobby grade battery that you can buy more of. You do not have to buy their more expensive branded version of the battery. Guys, it's just an amazing drone. And if at this point in time you don't have one, it's most likely because you don't watch our videos or any YouTube videos. Uh, you hide under a rock your entire life or you're just getting into the hobby. Trust me when I say you need a Bugs 3 in your collection. And I think, now don't hold me to this, but I think MJX has now sold a lot of their rights and their licenses to a lot of other companies. That's why we're seeing knockoff versions like the Holy Stone HS300. Ishing has even picked up yes. the Bugs style drones. So we're seeing a lot of knockoff versions, JJRC, JJ Pro. I mean, we've seen a lot of different things. The, the best one, the basic one to have is the Bugs Three. We'll have a link in the description box below. You need to check it out. You need to buy one. That's, I mean, I know it's not even the top one on our list, but that needs to be in your collection. Number four on our list is a really cool GPS drone. Now remember the Bugs 3 that we just mentioned has no GPS, has no altitude hold. It takes some skill to fly it, okay? Not a ton of skill, but some level of skill. It's definitely an intermediate level drone. This next one on our list is a very beginner friendly drone because it has a GPS built in. So even in light winds, it'll still stay in place. This is the Hubson H216A. We'll have it linked in the description box below. Remember, now there's a lot of different versions of Hubson drones and there's a lot of different versions of this drone, but it just performed really well. And for under $100 to have a drone with a GPS, a decent flight time, FPV, Wi-Fi, the camera, live feed video on your phone, with a dedicated transmitter was just awesome. That doesn't happen all the time. And Hubson, in our opinion, does have a pretty good established name for themselves. They make good products. And uh, this one falls right into that category. Remember, you've got the live video feed on your phone. 
So if you're looking to get into something like a DJI Spark, a DJI Mavic, or uh, a Phantom, you know, there's all kinds of different brands coming out on the market, the Hubson Zeno, but maybe you don't want to spend three, four, five thousand dollars, you know, you don't want to spend that much money. This is a good way to find out, am I going to like the hobby? Because you're going to get the feel for a GPS drone for a hundred dollars. And when the time comes to sell it and upgrade yourself to another drone, it's going to hold its value pretty well. So we really like the Hubson H216A for that reason. Under a hundred dollars GPS drone, a lot of technology packed in for that price point. Number three on our list is the XKX520. This is a VTOL vertical, vertical takeoff and landing drone. Plane? Slash plane. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't obvious enough that we like it because we've been giving a ton of them away on our channel lately, uh, this is just a no-brainer at how amazing it is. This is a drone that takes off vertically and you hit a button and then it transforms and shifts into an auto level airplane. I think very confidently, as long as someone has a very basic understanding of left will make it turn left and right will make it turn right in the airplane mode, anyone can fly this because it has an auto level mode and it has a stunt mode for those of you that are more skilled and like to do loops and rolls and barrel rolls and crazy things, and flat you can, spins. you can fly it like a drone. A little, yes. A little. I would say it's mainly designed to fly as a plane and just does the really cool takeoff and landing. Yeah. But it's a great way if you've been scared to get into planes, it's a great start for you. Especially if you're a person that knows how to fly a drone, especially like an auto level type drone, uh, and you're wanting to get into planes, this is a really good transition, no pun intended, for you. Because <laughs> you get it, right? You got the joke? Uh -huh. Transition. transition. <laughs> Vital. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bad. I'm I a dad now, so bad dad jokes all day, all day long. Uh, but all joking aside, it's an amazing little vehicle. Um, it has brushless motors too, which is a very key point to, to mention because uh, it's going to hold up longer, they're going to perform a little better, especially on an airplane. Uh, that's a really, 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 really awesome vehicle. And I think, if I remember right, the battery was not proprietary, so you can buy spare batteries and spare parts for this thing. Pretty cheap, you could slap on different props if you wanted to. Just a really nice setup and very solidly under $100. There's options too. You can get one with a camera. You can get one without the camera. I think there's different ones that come with extra batteries. There's different transmitters. Different transmitter. And some of you that ordered... And lights. And there is a night version, yes. Some of you that ordered the uh, XKX520 from our review ended up getting the cheaper transmitter and most of you were disappointed in that. So for those of you that are watching this now that didn't order the XKX520, I think everyone would be on the same page and saying it's worth the extra five or ten dollars for the better transmitter. She is <laughs> picking her pants. <laughs> That's poop. <laughs> Uncut and raw here on the RC Sanders. <laughs> oh, it stinks. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> wow. Moving on to an extremely strong, ugh, number two. <laughs> Dad jokes. Yeah, you like that? That was good. That was good, right? Strong number two. Okay. This one is absolutely amazing. And believe it or not, it can fall under $50 at times. When we did our video of this, we timed it perfectly. They had them for $40. And, and this people has been just, out, it's been out for a while. Oh, it's been out for a long time. These things used to be $200, rightfully so. I know a friend that is in the hobby, the industry of RC and doing reviews, Flying Ryan, you guys might remember him. He actually bought all three of those. Uh, uh, well, I'll, t I'll tell you what they are in a second. He spent $600 on these things. And I was jealous at the time I didn't have $600 to spend on them. But now you can get them for about $50, $60, and sometimes, when you're lucky, as cheap as about 40 bucks. But since we've done our video, the price has been up pretty pretty steady. They're, they're worth every penny of like 80 bucks or so. Just believe me when I tell you. So the Star Wars, the Propel Star Wars X-Wing, TIE Fighter, and Speeder Bike. My personal favorite is absolutely the X-Wing, even though it's not folded out into an X. It's in the flat, long distance flying formation. And then the speeder bike just looks really cool too. They all look amazing. But we've only had the X-Wing on our channel so far. I do have the others, I have to tell you. I got all of them when they were that cheap. And a couple extras. 
I just love them. I got a couple extras for when I go go see my friends at RCS Fest, we're gonna battle. The level of detail involved in these things is mind blowing. I mean, there's so many sounds and, and songs that come out of the transmitter and there are just the, the display case that comes with it and the lights and the, it's just all amazing. Absolutely amazing. I've never seen in my six years of doing this and flying different things almost every day, I've never seen anything with this level of detail, especially at that price under $100. You will be blown away at how easy it is to fly, at how amazing it looks in the air, and if you're remotely a Star Wars fan at all, the experience of hearing the sounds and the music and just the lasers and everything is just jaw-dropping. And then to boot on top, let's say you get the X-Wing and the TIE Fighter, or any combination of any of them. You can even take two X-Wings if you want to. You can battle them. And by that, I don't mean physically crash them into each other. I mean they shoot invisible infrared laser beams at each other. And when you hit one, it'll rock around and then it'll you get control over it again. You hit it a second time and it spins down a little bit. You get control over it. Hit it a third, fourth time, you lose total control and it lands itself. I mean, these things are so cool. So amazing. You can connect the app to it to keep track of your health and stuff. Just so amazing. I cannot believe the amount of technology packed into that for under $100. And like I said, sometimes you're gonna find it around $50, $60. And to our viewers that are subscribed to our channel, you are lucky and you find the good deals right when we find them. And we let you know when it was like $40 and people just bought, bought a ton of those. Last but not least, and this was almost a tie with that X-Wing drone, I'll be honest with you. It's hard, it's hard to compare this one to the X-Wing drone just because the level of detail and the quality in that Propel X-Wing drone and the, the other uh, Star Wars vehicles as well. But this one still just stands out to us because of the flight time and it has almost a GPS built in. We call this the Visuo Shark Drone. It has a really long name of numbers and letters, so what we'll do is link it in the description box below for you guys. But this is a folding arm drone with altitude hold and it was just extremely easy to fly. Not only that, but it just had you know spare parts and like it's just easy to fly. It did have a Wi-Fi FPV, you remember that? Mm -hmm. So that helps get it above that Star Wars drone just a little bit and that really long flight time. Mm -hmm. The flight time is what was the most impressive thing about it. Crazy. I mean, the performance was spectacular. Yeah, perfect. But the flight time is really what put it over the edge to put it in that number one spot. Most drones in this price point are lucky if they can hit 10 minutes. You usually get a seven, eight, maybe nine minute flight time. But when you hit double digits on flight time for a drone under $100, it's pretty rare. Now we're talking about a drone that almost doubles that flight time. Basically it does at 18 solid minutes. I think on the box they say 20 plus minutes or something, but we clocked it at 18 minutes, which is just absolutely amazing. I mean, for, for everything that we have seen on our channel so far, that is very impressive in the drone world. So if you're new shopping and you just don't know what you're shopping for, if you hit a drone that flies that long, that's really, really, really good. Hopefully you guys like and agree with our list. We are so happy with all five things on here. You really can't go wrong. It's a pretty good variety of things too. We have from brushless, uh, agile drones to GPS drones. We've got long flight time, Star Wars drones, and even the XKX520 VTOL. I mean, a big variety, but those are all really strong options. You cannot go wrong with any of those on the list. Do you guys like these top five vehicles under X amount of dollar videos? If so, leave us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments section below. What category would you like to see next on our channel? Do you wanna see trucks? Do you wanna see airplanes? Maybe GPS drones, best GPS drones under a thousand dollars. Amelia is ready to go, so we're gonna get out of here. She needs a diaper change after all this. Yes. <laughs> Coming in at a strong number two. Amelia! Guys, thank you so much for watching. All the good stuff will be linked in the description box below. We'll have the products, and then below the products, we'll have the videos of these if you wanna check out the full review on our channel. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!